Hi everyone, thanks for joining in today. This is Matt with Garden Distractions. Today it's a little bit cold outside, so we're doing another indoor video. And in this video today, we're gonna to be painting this planter. This pot I got from, Can um, not Canadian Tire, um, I got it from the dollar store. Um, I'm not a fan of brass and gold. I think it looks old. So I'm going to paint over this strip and we're probably gonna do it a nice black or a green. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So for this project, I have my pot, of course. I have acrylic paint that I'm gonna use. I've got a black paint and a kind of bright green paint. Then I have two paint brushes for different sizes. So my small one I'm gonna use for around the edges and the big one I'm gonna to use to fill. I also have water and paper towel to clean and dry off my paintbrushes. So here we go, guys. Let's try off the green first. If I don't like that, I'm gonna let it dry, then I'll go with the black. Also, I'm going to put some cardboard underneath so that it, this does not get ruined. This I just picked up from uh, Ikea. It's like 10 bucks, I think, so not bad find. And we'll use the cardboard as well for putting my paint on. I'm liking it already, guys. I think it's a lot better than the brass, even though I still have a lot of brass showing. That green, I like. I'm a big fan of green. Okay, so I got a nice layer on the top. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and then I'm gonna take my big brush and fill it in. It's gonna take a couple of coats to let this sink in and actually get rid of the brass color, but that's okay. Okay, now we will paint in the middle there. And I'm gonna let this dry for about um, five to 10 minutes, so we'll be able to check on it. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and apply our next coat. Okay, so that's two coats and I can still see some of the brass shining through. So we'll do another coat. We'll dry again for five to 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes and we'll apply the last coat. Hopefully this will do the trick and it will look good and you won't be able to see any or very little at least of the brass. Fingers crossed. Okay, so that's three coats. I can still see a little bit, so we're gonna let it dry again and we will put another coat on. Hopefully four coats, we'll do the trick. Fingers across. So I made a little bit of a mess on the trim, so I'm going to paint it all black and then see how it looks. I might not end up posting this, we will see. So 
So because I'm doing a black, what I'll have to do is, because I know I'm making messes on the green, I'm gonna have to go again on the green and like create a nice clean line. So this is creating more work than I thought it would be, but it hopefully will turn out nicely in the end. Okay, so I got all the black on. We will now let it dry and then I will redo the green. I don't know about you guys, but this is kind of looking like uh, Frankenstein right now. Maybe not a good thing. So it's now dried. I'm not really a fan of it. I do think it looks like Frankenstein's head. So I'm going to paint it all black. And I think it will actually really pop with my jade plant in it and it will actually look pretty good instead of black green and black with a green plant so yeah let's go ahead and paint it all black here's the final product uh now that i do have the jade plant in it i do like it a lot more let me know what you guys think if yes it looks good or no it doesn't um i'm okay with it i don't know if i would do it again but maybe do something different I just need to get rid of that brass. I hated the brass, but yeah, here we go. So thank you guys so much for following along. Let me know what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.